Hi, this is Shannon Tobaldo from Tobaldo on Tech. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, TweetDeck. So TweetDeck is an app that you can download on your Mac and um, it can be used to basically follow your Twitter feed and um, actually follow some chats that are happening. So right now you can see we actually have an Ed chat that's going on live and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So the first thing you do is you log in to your tweet your tweet deck account. So you download the app and you log in and you create a new account using tweet deck and um, so it's different. You don't log in to Twitter until you're actually inside TweetDeck. So once you're inside TweetDeck, you uh, go into the settings and you decide kind of how you want it to look uh, in the general. So I have the stream tweets in real time and that, that gives me the opportunity to follow a chat when it's happening. And you can link accounts. So from here you can add different Twitter accounts. I use this specifically for this Twitter account only. So I've added it and I've made it my default account. And I've used uh, standard services, so when I tweet from TweetDeck, which you can do, uh, it uses standard link shortening, so I use the Twitter shortener. And um, so once you're there, it'll pull up a couple general feeds for you. It usually pulls up your home feed by default, your favorites, your mentions, and then also um, I have down back here your messages. So then I've added everything else. So along the left hand side here you can see hashtag EdChat, which is happening right now. You can see uh, hashtag EttIPad, hashtag EdTechChat. Um, these are hashtag searches. This particular one, Hack the Classroom, I'm actually following um, this particular user, Hack the Classroom. So anytime they tweet, um, I can see what their tweets are. And uh, these are hashtags again, messages. Um, this is me, so these are things that uh, I tweet. And then I have scheduled tweets, which you can see right here, this column. So normally during the day I work, so in the morning when I go through my routine, I find things that I want to tweet out and I schedule them to go at different times of the day. So the last one today I'll tweet out will be this one at 545. I try to stagger them throughout the day, especially if I have a lot. I don't like to slam my followers with, you know, four or five different tweets at the same time. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like it's less effective. So people that follow me um, will get a few throughout the day spread out a little bit. And then finally, kind of at the end here, I have um, lists and that's what uh, this this looks like. These are lists that I've created of different people that I follow, uh, a list called Cool Teachers, a list of the, the class I teach, and those so I can follow my students. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to set those things up. So starting at the uh, on the left here, we can actually collapse this column and expand it so you can get more um, kind of surface area on your screen. And we just hit add column. When we hit add column, we have a lot of different um, opportunities here. So the first one I want to um, do is a, is a search. And so we're going to search and it pops up up here. We're going to search for SimChat and that would be uh, Symbaloo's stream of any time anything gets uh, tagged with the hashtag SimChat. So it pulls it up here, make sure this is the one you want. Yes, and I'm going to simply hit add column. And it went all the way to the end at column 15, but I'm just going to, I can click and drag it and move it, which is one way. Or if I come down here at the bottom, here it is, I can just click it and drag it here up to where I want it. So I'm going to put it right here. Um, right next to my home feed is the sim chat. Now remember, let me I want to grab the ed chat because I want you to see it. The ed chat is what's happening now um, today. So there's actually an ed chat scheduled right now. So on days when sim chats are scheduled, you would simply be able to come here and you'd see the feed live and you'd be able to participate. So that is very, very simple of how you follow um, the hashtag chats. Uh, so if you wanted to tweet, I can simply hit new tweet and I can 
um, go ahead and type up my tweet. So I've typed my tweet in here. I have used the at symbol edu so that they it will get tagged with uh, for them as well as the sim chat hashtag. So when I hit tweet, it should pop up right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And there, there it is. It popped up right there. Recording a tutorial of TweetDeck for the Symbolu EDU. Look for it soon. SimChat pops up right here. So that is how you can tweet from within TweetDeck. So you actually don't need to have Twitter open anymore in a browser window or actually have the Twitter app installed. This makes it a lot easier. And you can really follow lots of um, lots of streams at once. The other thing I want to show you is uh, lists. So here's some lists that I have. I can create a new list by simply hitting create list. I select, I only have one account. I can call it um, whatever I want. I like to, you know, say, uh, let's say EdTech Superheroes. Uh, that's what I call teachers that I train um, in, on EdTech devices in their classroom. It's going to be a public list and I can hit save. And then I can start putting people in my EdTech superhero list. So I've added a couple people here. You can see I just searched for them by name, found them, added them, and now it's, it says add column. I'm going to hit done. It added that column at the very end. If I want, the great thing about these lists is I can just follow certain people in these lists. So for example, if you subscribe to um, a sports and you're mixing that um, in with your professional, your teaching or whatever, you can kind of separate out those two lists based on um, who they are, who's tweeting. Um, and then that way you can just kind of follow, like I can just put all my EdTech superhero people in here and I can just see what they're tweeting. Everybody I consider a cool teacher goes in here. These are my students, so I can see what they're tweeting. Part of the digital technology integration uh, course that I teach in Urban Ed requires them to be a part of this. So they are um, supposed to be tweeting regularly. So the great thing is, is I can grab this list and I can move it um, over to be where I want. And again, Super simple, super easy to use, um, and I, you know, I really, really encourage you, especially during sim chats or any kind of chats that you want to participate in. Um, you should be able to easily launch this app, get it going. This also works on your Chromebook, um, and um, so I use it on a Mac and a Chromebook, just depending on where I am at the time of the chat. So thanks for listening. Again, I'm Shannon Tabaldo with Tabaldo on Tech. You can feel free to follow me on Twitter. Um, thanks very much.